Christine in Ohio, you've got the money pit. How can we help you today? We have a 1930s home, and the owner, he built it for himself and lives here for a while. The electricity has been replaced since then, and it's a new box, you know, with the on and off switches and a lot of labels, including one that says gutter heater, which I'm curious about. But my question <laughs> is, <laughs> okay. we're, painting, we're, we're painting the whole house, and all the outlet boxes are being replaced and the switches, and we're, we're replacing the switches, but the wires look like they're original to the home. Do those need replaced as well? How old is the wiring? When was the home built? 1930-ish. Is it knob and tube wiring? Do you know what that is? Well, I thought that meant what was in the box, so I guess I do not, because the box in the basement is just the switches. The panel may have been fuses and then upgraded to circuit breakers, but what you're concerned about is the wiring in the wall. I'll say this. If it's knob and tube wiring, which is the original form of, of centrally, central wiring that was added to homes around that time, by the way, uh, that, type of, that type of wiring has to uh, be replaced because it's not grounded and it's not groundable. Um, if it's really any other type of wiring, and, and as long as it's wired correctly and your electrician can check all that, then you could probably keep it. Okay. But knob and tube wiring is easy to spot. Uh, it's a, a black rubber coating. It is strung along the sides of wood beams from ceramic tubes, and whenever it goes through a beam, uh, by, it's strung from the side of beams with ceramic knobs, and whenever it goes through the beams is a ceramic tube that goes through it. And, and that type of wiring is very unsafe. So other than that, I think as long as everything's wired properly, you, know, you should be good to go. It's not a do-it-yourself project, by the way. You need that professional electrician uh, do this work for you, Christine, okay? Is it possible that the wiring, like, because I didn't see anything that looked like the, what you're describing, but I don't see how they could not have, how they could have replaced it if the wiring that I'm seeing, it looks like, you know, it's just coming out of the light switch, say, under the box plate. It's got like a cloth. You, you should not be doing it. this work yourself, Christine. This is not a difficult thing to assess for a professional electrician. There are a lot of places aside from inside those boxes where you can see the type of wiring. Any any exposed framing in the attic or basement, for example, uh, you'll see this wiring. Okay? Thanks so much. We'd love to tell you to do it yourself. This is what I'm telling you. Don't do it yourself. Okay? All right. Good luck. Thanks so much for calling us at 888 Money Pit.